Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November 18th. Coming on Thanksgiving, and it sounds like here on our fisheries, we got a lot to be thankful for. We got Tom, Lee, and Gentry doing their normal lakes, and we've got Tracy Robinson filling in for Josh Heron this week at Logan Martin and Lay Lake. We'll be right back with what the guys have to say. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November the 18th. Hey, we got a guest filling in for Josh Heron, who's having some medical procedures this week. Good luck to him, and we hope you're doing well, Josh. Tracy, let's start with Lay Lake. We'll work our way back upstream. What's going on at Lay? Lay Lake right now, the, the water has uh, came back up, and, and the fish are starting to migrate back to the grass. Uh, grass Lake, obviously. Uh, a lot of fish being caught on swim jigs and punching, and, and that's largemouth that I'm talking about. Spotted bass uh, bite's been really good too on the docks and the sea walls with spinner baits and chatter baits. You know, something in that white chartreuse color, bait fish color. Um, water's got a little color to it, but definitely not, you know, Coosa River mud and it's not gin clear, but the, the white chartreuse shad colors are working really good. Um, the current fish are biting too, but uh, you know, obviously you've got to wait till the current's running. It's been coming on about lunch every day. Uh, most of the bites up the lake on the uh, current fish have been spinner baits and jigs, but that's been the predominant two uh, patterns that uh, lay for the past two or three weeks. So as Logan's kind of fallen a little bit, as the lakes adjust in their levels, uh, Logan gets settled this time of the year. What are you thinking about Logan Martin? The whole Coosa River has been fluctuating a good bit lately, especially with the Neely drawdown they had. But the water level uh, has been falling uh, for winter drawdown on Logan. Um, it's been, I don't know. Every day you're seeing some amount of fall down, some days a little more than others, depending on how long they leave the uh, gates open on both ends. But in addition to the lake uh, falling, it's also the water temperatures are falling with it. So a couple of things there impacting the fish. But the fish right now, the largemouth are really wanting to move shallow. Uh, and I'd say spots too, when we're talking about Logan Martin, but both are trying to get to the shallows. Um, the water fluctuation probably is holding them off a bit, but they're trying to get to the back of those uh, creeks, back to those pockets where the shad are. You see a ton of shad in the back of the pockets right now, uh, catching a lot on the spinner baits and the small crank baits. The spinner baits and the small crank baits on the points just inside the pockets. Those fish haven't really committed yet to get all the way to the back, getting that mud in the back, but you see the shad already back there. And you may run into one pocket where you'll see some of the fish all the way in the back, but that's been the rarity. They're on those first one or two secondary points off the river right now on uh, crankbaits and spinnerbaits. There's still some fish being caught on top water right now, mainly buzzbaits is what, what I've been throwing, but I'm, I'm certain that you can catch them on other baits, but I can cover a lot more water with the buzzbaits, but they're still eating the buzzbaits uh, at Logan Martin. But the key you right now is everything about the shad. Get around those shad and you're gonna get bit. Tracy, as always, man, we appreciate you filling in. Your insights are really, really popular and welcomed. Thanks for the time, brother. We'll talk to you again soon. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November the 18th. Hey, we're joined by Lee Pitts from the phone. He's a little out of signal. He's out there looking for Bambi. Lee, what's going on on Weiss Lake right now? You know, our, our crappie fish in this last week has really picked up some. Um, not and, and really not much has changed. Water temperature hasn't changed that much. I know we've had a little bit more wind, but uh, the, the crappie are really starting to get out there on those creek ledges now, starting to hold a little bit tighter to the brush. You know, anything you could find out there that's got a little bit of current break and uh, something they can get in and kind of hide a little bit to ambush the minnows. But they're, they're getting tighter to these, uh, you know, the, the man-made structure and the natural stumps that's out there. They're just seeming to hold tight to that wood cover anywhere 12, 14, and even 18 foot of water. So uh, that right now is what you can to go out and catch a lot of crappie. That's something to look for. What about the bass bite there? What are you seeing at Weiss? Bass is picking up. Um, our big fish, we're not catching uh, near the big fish down down south that they're catching, but uh, catching a lot of fish in that pound and a half to two and a half pound range, you know, square bill, spinner bait. Still don't have much of a top water bite right now. I don't know. We may have this year kind of missed it a little bit, but normally this time of year, that little quarter ounce buzz bait is deadly out there. We're just not having a lot of fish break the surface, but you can catch them up shallow and around some of this wood uh, up tight with a square wheel, uh, smaller spinner bait. Most everybody's throwing, you know, your double willows on it. So uh, white, white and chartreuse seems to be what everybody's throwing. All right, let's turn our attention to Neely Henry. We had uh, the 
Coos River Team Trail Championship, 36 pounds, almost 37, won it for two days. I know I was able to get one big one, a 475 on a buzz bait, but there were bigger fish caught. I know buzz baits played a big role. What are you hearing out of Neely Henry? You know, and that's what I was going to say. It's it's the same water. You know, Weiss Neely, it's the same deal. I don't know if it's the levels, but the top water bite at Neely, it's been strong. I mean, you can just cover uh, two, three foot of water uh, and, and get bit. You know, they'll come up and just, I mean, smash a buzz bait right now. But uh, that and that spinnerbait bite's been good, and also with that little 1.5 or some kind of squirter bill. But Neely is really, with the bass fishing, it's like it's flip-flop. Uh, the bass, for the last couple of weeks, have really, really turned on down at Neely. And, and like I said, man, that's uh, that 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 big one you call it, hey, that's a good fish any day. Yeah. Well, I will say for the record, the better fish tend to just slurp the buzzbait off the surface. They don't put the water in the air. Lee? Thanks for everything, brother. We'll talk to you again next week, man. All right. Sounds good. See y'all next week. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November 18th. Hey, we're joined by Gentry Gordy, who's going to talk a little bit of Lake Martin and Jordan Lake. He's not on one of those lakes right now. He's getting ready for another tournament, but he's been spending some time around the area. Gentry, what's happening at Jordan? It, it's difficult fall, Dan O. You know, it's, it's tough. Um, I have stuck more to the bottom side of the lake. And just done my deal flipping docks and grass lines and stuff like that. And you can, in some of the deeper rock banks and, you know, with a jig, they're there. I haven't been up the river, um, but, you know, that's always a key player with your eddy breaks and your swim jigs. And, I mean, uh, your swim baits and, and pulling like little ball jigs down those rock bluffs. And you can do the same on the south end, but I've, I've concentrated there you know, the canal, places like that, and, and call some decent fish. The numbers are there, but the quality is just a little bit tougher to find this time. Is it something where maybe you need to find some creeks that are a little bit deeper, running further, that have some fresh water coming in in the back of them? Is that what you want to look for? Absolutely. And, you know, and you can see that on some of your mapping, you know, the creeks that run in the back of them pockets, that's just fresh water coming in. Um, so that always plays as something to look for. Your your smaller patches of dead grass versus a big area this time of year. You know, I, I'm doing like a half ounce Texas rig, so it kind of falls a little faster and gets their attention. Not, you know, around the edge of the grass. Um, just to try to mix it up a little bit. All right, let's turn our attention to Lake Martin, a little bit of a different fishery. What's going on there? Little fish, little fish. It's, <laughs> um, you know, it, we've talked about it in the past couple of weeks. Martin's just falling so fast right now. The better fish are out in front of the docks that have some brush on it, but, you know, they're still 18 to 25 feet just because they're pulling that water down so fast. The smaller fish are running the banks, you know, just schools of them, but they're, they're 12 feet. 13 inches but your quality is shaky head texas rigs even a carolina rig and you got to get deeper than 15 foot to find them and find some trash how about suspended fish or some of those deeper cuts some of the middles of those things are there are you seeing anything there absolutely the problem that i'm having though is the small fish are getting to your bait usually this time of year your bigger fish are down below the bait but it's hard to get something down to them because those little 12 inch fish are just they're like piranhas it's hard to get they're there. It's just hard to get your bait down to those bigger fish. Gentry, as always, brother, we appreciate it. Go kill them this weekend. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, guys. Take care. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November 18th. Hey, we're joined by the king of Guntersville. The queen, of course, is not with him today. St. Jennifer's not there, but we're talking to Tom Ott. Tom, what's happening out there on the lake today? I love I graduated from jester to king. I don't know. <laughs> Not, not in my mind. We just wanted to give you a little bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, I tell you, Dano, uh, things are, are pretty much the same out there on Guntersville this week. Uh, you know, we're still seeing a, a lot of those, uh, a lot of bait moving. The bass are really starting to uh, follow that bait. Uh, I've been kind of honestly lazy man fishing. I, I've been following the bait. Really throwing an A rig, uh, a jerk bite, a uh, jerk bait bite starting to come on, uh, pretty good, pretty decent, I guess. Uh, still catching them on a square bill, things of that nature. But I've just been following bait around and really fishing points of grass uh, and staying in that eight, ten foot, you know, depth zone. But uh, you know, from what I understand, there's some really nice fish that are bunching up a little bit out deeper. So 
you know, I think it depends on what you're looking for. If you want to go catch a lot of fish or if you're going to go look for a trophy, uh, you know, between now and February is probably the best time to catch a, a really big fish on Gondersville. You know, I just kind of been uh, being lazy about it and following the crappie around a good bit, too. So, you know, anywhere you find those creek bends, <clears throat> smaller creeks, bigger creeks, whether it be South Saudi, Honeycomb, uh, North Saudi, uh, you know, some of those other big, larger creeks. You get those bends, you're going to get a, a bunch of bait, you know, holding up in there. And I think that's uh, that's where you're going to find some of your larger fish, but you're also going to find your good action. So is it something that you can go around and still throw a worm or a jig on some of the ledges yet, or is it time to just get moving? I'm sure you could. Uh, I really haven't done any of that lately. Uh, I've just been kind of on the move, put the trolling motor down, get my foot on it, and just work these little edges. Um, and, you know, it's it's just a lot more action that way. It's a little more fun when you're catching a lot of fish and you get these cool, cool mornings and those fish really react to that. Uh, you know, it's fantastic. And then I think the sun has a lot to play with it. You know, the sun hurts the crappie bite, but I think it really helps the bass bite a lot too, because it warms that water up, gets that bait really active. Um, and that just, you know, clicks them on. But like I said, I, I've been a little lazy about it, but uh, I think some big fish are really starting to to get positioned out there on the edges of those, edges of those deeper creeks uh, where they don't have to do a lot of movement. They just have to sit there and eat. Well, I think you call it lazy fishing. We just call it doing the right thing and following the bait. Tom, thanks for everything, brother. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, guys. Y'all be safe out there in tight lines. Well, that'll do it for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, November 18th. Thanks to Tracy for filling in for Josh. Josh, we hope everything goes well, and we'll talk to you again soon, brother. Stop on by Bucks Island. We got everything you need to hit the water, whether you're looking for that new boat, pontoon, fishing boat, runabout. We got it. See Katie and everybody in the sales department. If you need the parts or the service to get you going, we got the people to handle it and the stuff to be able to make sure that it gets done right. And then, of course, if you're looking for that tackle, we've got that upstairs with Colin and Jamie in the loft. Thanks again for being the best part of Bucks Island. You keep this place running, and you are appreciated. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again next week.